Hi there, welcome back. Today I will demonstrate the use of an arrow line generator template I created in DaVinci Resolve 17. You can download the template through the links in the descriptions below and try it out for yourself. Once the template is installed or copied to the template folder, it will be available in the effects panel. Drag it to the timeline, it generates a straight line drawing from left to right, with a starting dot and an arrow at the end. There are a few setting tabs in the inspector that allow us to adjust and control the look and feel of the line. To show some of the basic settings, let's first disable the animation. All the basic parameters are grouped together inside the first controls tab. Using the line type drop down list, we can choose one of these five predefined line types. Solid line, double solid line, dotted line, dashed line, and double dashed line. Change the line thickness to adjust the width of the line. For a dashed or dotted line, we can change the dot dash space parameter to adjust the space between the dots or dashes. The begin arrow and end arrow parameters are used to set the type and size of the arrows. We can disable the arrow by setting the arrow type to none. Or set the arrow to one of the four preset styles. Oval. Diamond. Arrow shape 1 and arrow shape 2. The arrow size is automatically adjusted as we change the line thickness. But if needed, we can also adjust the arrow size individually. Switch to the color tab, we can change the color of the line and the arrows. As the default, the arrows are using the same color setting as the line. If we want to use different colors for arrows, we can enable the separate arrow color option and change the colors of the begin arrow and end arrow separately. To change the main color of the line, expand the line color group. The default color is set to gradient. With these color control parameters, we can easily set the color to anything we like. In the Soft Glow tab, we can add some glowing effects to the line. Increase the gain value to enable the glowing effect. We can adjust these parameters to get the desired result. Now let's go back to the first controls tab and enable the animation option. The animation will run through the entire duration of the clip. We can increase the animation speed to make the animation run faster. For example, set the speed to 2, it will run twice as fast and only take half the duration of the clip to finish the motion effect. If we set the value to 4, the animation will use a quarter of the time. To smooth the animation, we can change the animation curve to easing and select one of these predefined curves. For example, Expo, Bounce. If we change the curve to Custom, we can create our own curve to control the animation. We now have gone through all the parameters in the inspector. Next we'll see how we can adjust the position and shape of the line in the viewer. Let's reset all the parameters to default and disable the animation. Turn on the fusion overlay and we can see some on-screen controls appear in the viewer. This long horizontal line is used to control the gradient color. To avoid overlapping with the actual line controls, we can set the color to solid. Now we see only the line controls in the viewer. Enable the option to separate the arrow colors from the line. Drag the control points to move the line. 
or right-click, choose Select All from the context menu to select all points, and move the entire line all together. We can drag and move these handles to adjust the curve of the line. If we want to add more points after the current selected point, right-click the viewer. Choose Click Append from the context menu. Click the viewer where we want to put the next point. Continue clicking to add as many points as required. Once it's done, right-click and set the mode to Modify Only. This mode allows us to change the curve, move the control point. For example, we can select all points. Press Shift S or right click to smooth the line. If we need to insert more points to the line, we can change the mode to insert and modify. In this mode, we can click anywhere on the line to add new points. After we finish drawing the line, we can turn on the animation option. And now we have an animated auto drawing line with end arrows. Using this generator, we can easily create a flight route animation. We can add another copy of the flight route to create a shadow line. Set the color to gray. Adjust the curve to set it apart from the main line. Lower the color alpha value to make it semi-transparent. With just a few clicks, we created a nice flight route animation. We can also trace a path on a city map and create a walking tour with animated drawing lines. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.